Okay, so for reason's sake to why I'm not continuing my drive today, even though I probably could continue my drive today, is that I'm house sitting. I'm not actually house sitting, but we're gonna say that I'm house sitting for the sake that I am still here and my family is not. So, I'm house sitting for my family while they go on vacation, AKA I'm actually just utilizing their driveway and their laundry facilities and their beautiful bathtub and I'm gonna have a great relaxing night on my last night of being in my 20s. That all being said, I am going to conquer the bed and all of my clothes. I'm gonna shake out everything out. I'm gonna clean the entire van and I cannot tell you how excited I am for that. So we are gonna start that immediately before I call it time to relax and enjoy my bath, etc., etc. But I'm very, very excited to clean the van. This van needs to be cleaned. And I'm so excited to do laundry and like shake out my bed again because that needs to be done. So we are gonna conquer that right now. First of all, I woke up to the most incredible messages from all my favorite people, which was the greatest start to my day. I slept in until about 7.30, which to me, the day is half over. So I was like super anxious to get my shit together. Um, half, hence why I'm like half ready and I'm going to grab a coffee because there is a time of the day where like coffee isn't really necessary. I see like I'm talking so fast because I'm like, shit, I gotta like catch up to my day. Anyways. My point of this very lame story is that I'm going to grab a coffee. It is my birthday, it's sunny, and I'm having a great day. Let me tell you, what I do not miss is the 401. We don't miss the 401 at all. Or Toronto, where it's like five lanes, six lanes, 10 lanes, and it's like chaotically busy. We don't miss that one bit. So pretty. And the greatest birthday date ever. Here, Very pretty bottle. Peel it this way. I don't, he can't even tell you the last time I opened the bottle. Here, wait, why don't we bring this on the porch in case, because you well, I'm not gonna me. pop it in here. Oh, gonna, okay, I'm no, that's fine. I'm just taking the, this, are you kidding me? We are definitely doing this outside. <laughs> okay, because I'm just like, wait. I will either hit myself in the face or take someone's I'm like, we just, I, I felt like I was calling What do I do though? When's it gonna pop? Oh, no, well, you're fine taking that off. Don't. Yeah, so you'll unscrew that, okay, unscrew and then this. hold the, your hand over this until you get outside. Oh shit. No, it, it shouldn't pop, it pop. Won't pop. I didn't shake it or anything. That is Edit it later. True. Okay, what am I doing? So you're gonna take this cage off of it. You're just gonna open that Can up. Can I and move my finger? Yes, 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 yes. Are you sure? Yep, I promise you. I just meant to. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Put that down. Okay, what do I do? And then you're just gonna take your thumb and push that up. Are you sure? Yep. Better just like, should I shake it first so it just doesn't go straight like, up cool? though. You can if you want. Go straight up. I'm nervous. Do it on a little of an angle. Don't go straight. There I you go. Push it. Yeah. Whoa! Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy so shit. far. Here you go. Okay. I'm nervous. <laughs> Thank you for making my birthday so special. Happy birthday. Cheers. 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 Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. Yay, Ducker. Yay. Let's Thank you. Warm. There we go. Of the season. Yay! I'm I so get happy. to be here. Me too. I'm so excited. It's your mom's birthday. It's a great birthday. 
filling up the water jugs today. It barely fits. It fits? Barely. Wait. It feels right now. Beautiful. It's gonna be heavy. We got the man muscles. Man muscles, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Okay, number two. <laughs> this van lifer is so happy. She has water. Are you sure you wanna do that? Did you try it really tight? Yeah. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, so my water, thanks to James, is in. This is the moment of truth. I haven't turned my water on probably since last summer. So everything's gonna be fine. It's just like a big deal because it's been a while and I've been living, I've literally been living out of these water jugs because I didn't want anything to freeze in the winter. And I'm so excited that I can say goodbye. I almost dropped my phone. Um, I can say goodbye to those, I'm very excited. So all I have to do is make sure that my gray jug is in. Oh, wait, I forgot to open up this other line. Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's open. Wait. That's open. Okay. Oh my gosh, please. We have water! Headed. So, the water goes down and then goes into this jug, and I will empty it when it's full. You and I, we have found what we've been missing. You and I, it feels like we're finally living. We are wide awake, it's all so clear. The dreams we held are standing here. You and I. Professional coffee maker, 101, at the Dorian residence. <laughs> Measures the coffee and everything. I have so much to update everybody on. I'm currently parked in just outside of Point Pelee, <clears throat> having some dinner because I am so hungry. I had a great birthday and then Eric and I just walked along the water in Windsor and it was absolutely beautiful. Honestly, such an amazing 30th birthday. So everyone who took the time out to wish me happy birthday, truly thank you so much. Totally means the world. The adventures continue with family. I am so excited to go see my little cousins and I'm sure we'll have things to show after that because they are pumped about my YouTube channel, which I love so much. Moving on to our adventures to the next amazing humans and family and friends to see, I'm very excited, but I had a wonderful birthday, so thank you so, so much. My family is so cute. Ever been on such a mission in my life? So I have, I think I already stated this, but like celery juice is a thing in my life and it needs to be a thing in my life for the rest of my life. And I ran out and then thankfully I had family that had a juicer. So I used their juicer and I made myself like a liter worth of celery juice. 
and now we're out again. So I'm back to where I was about a couple weeks ago. So I am on the hunt for a juicer, which I didn't want to do. Like what an unnecessary thing for some people, but it's a very necessary thing for me. So I am driving like 40 minutes to my next destination to go to Canadian Tire to hopefully get a juicer and to make all the celery juice. I'm like so pumped to get celery juice back in the van. We have a juicer! And it was the last one. Look at this. Future bullet. Future sponsorship. Yes, 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 yes. So pumped about this. Today's a good day. <clears throat> Grocery day. And I'm about to juice all of this. We are very excited about this. It's really hard. Successfully have celery. Thanks to my best friend for letting me use her house. And I put six stalks. Well, six stalks won't fit in here but this is where I put them because I don't have anything else for the van. So seven, this is about five and a half stocks. The rest is right there, which we'll put in something else, but I am so excited to have celery juice back in my life. We are trying to store the juicer somewhere that's not under the bed because that's gonna be a huge inconvenience every single time I have to use it. Let the game of Tetris begin. This needs to get under here. Is it gonna fit? Let's see not going to fit okay juicer back there that silver bar air fryer nutribullet is this considered bougie just have to fit this i don't know i'll figure it out but success i'm happy with this before i left on this adventure I told myself I'd be traveling across Canada for at least a year, until I quickly realized just how quickly you can travel across Canada. And let me tell you, it does not take a year. Between being on my own, visiting friends, and visiting family, I began to learn how much of a balance of both I need. When I'm visiting loved ones, I try not to take advantage of their time. Yet it isn't long before I miss being on my own again. But honestly, I feel a sense of belonging in my van, in nature, by the water, or in an empty parking lot. And soon enough, that's exactly where I'll be. Real time editing cast. I don't really have a closeout to this vlog this week because I've been with family for pretty much the entire time that I've been in this area. So I just thought I would take a second to kind of update you on what is to come. Um, so I am gonna be with family probably up until the end of May in pretty much the general area that I'm in. And then either the end of May, beginning of June, I will be heading towards Montreal. I feel like I haven't filmed much. I'm very excited, very eager to just get back on the road and have me and Tucker adventure. And I've never been to Montreal, so Montreal, Quebec, that whole area I've never been to before. So it's gonna be an adventure. I don't speak French. I am so unfamiliar with that entire area, actually. If you're watching this and you've been to Montreal, Quebec, I know old Quebec is something to see, but that is pretty much all I know. So any insight on what to do with things to see, let me know. Otherwise, I'm honestly so excited to get to the East East Coast that I just wanna like zip on by. But if there's anything worth seeing, please do let me know and I'll catch you next week in the next video.